Hey everyone, Trish Davies, international.com. If you want to receive my weekly updates on YouTube, click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I'll send you my weekly updates. I'm out here, out and about. We've had a week of rain, and I've got one day here of sunshine before another week of rain, so I thought I'd get on out here and, uh, and just do this video, share with you. For the last two weeks, I've been facing uh, loads of technology challenges in business. Uh, no doubt you guys as business builders will also face those technology challenges at some stage, whether it's in those early stages of building uh, or just throughout in general. Uh, what I've wanted to do, and I've been wanting to do this for some time, in the early stages of building, I hosted my websites. I've got six websites that I have for my online business. Uh, you often hear me talk about them as real estate, uh, digital real estate, because it's your space online. It's effectively your marketing, it's your shop, it's your e-commerce um, business. Uh, it's where you make your sales. And um, I've been hosting them with quite a small organization and they do hosting but they also do online education digital education as well and to be honest they're more known for their digital education than they are their hosting and you don't really know that in those early days so all I wanted was a company or an organization at first to be able to host and to educate uh, and to provide coaching, to provide all those things you need in those early stages. But as you grow bigger, uh, you realize that you become quite protective over those websites. And you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket. And especially with an organization that, you know, does lots of different things. I started to realize that it was important to find a hosting company that was big, that was huge. Uh, and that's all they did. That's what they specialized in. So I did some research. I found a hosting company that can do that. And my first website, I wanted to do one website first, and that was, we call it website migration. So transfer the domain name, but then also migrate the website at the same time. So it's quite a process. I thought it would be quite uncomplicated and simple but it is it's got its complexity to it uh, it's taken two weeks to transfer and uh, migrate one website only because it's the first one and it's about all the different steps in the process my recommendation would be to as you go along to either record by video or by zoom link record the process that you are doing uh, or to just take some notes and simple steps. I've done that and I have written some very simple steps down so that when it comes to transferring the rest of them, I will know exactly what to do. Uh, so yeah, so it's taken two weeks at this stage and I'm just waiting for confirmation that my, uh, my domain name servers are pointing in the right direction. I don't wanna to get too caught up in the technical jargon of this because that's not my expertise. Uh, I just simply followed instructions with the help of my members mastermind, members within my mastermind group. Um, you know, it's, it's important to know that you will not always have all the answers, but others will and others will help you. And uh, the assistance of the hosting company that I'm going to, because they are big and because they specialize in that, uh, they provide a 24 uh, seven live chat line and they also provide, you know, email assistance and support uh, to you that because your services is going to them. The hosting company that I'm leaving behind are five days a week, nine to five, and uh, you have to lodge a support ticket with no live chat. So that makes a huge difference. If something goes down on your websites, uh, if something happens to them, uh, to know that you've got backup 24 seven, you've got a support company that's gonna be able to provide that assistance for you uh, is critical when it comes to hosting your own or creating, building your own online business. So uh, that's what I've been doing. It's been taking a lot of my time. Uh, I've dedicated my evenings to that process, making sure step by step, all the right things are being done. Um, another important tip, it's very important to just sequence the process 
processes. So write them down, sequence them in the correct order because you don't want to make changes to domain names, to servers uh, and to websites uh, knowing that they're currently being transferred or they're, they're in the process of being transferred or transfer pending as I am getting at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very important. It can be done and don't be scared to take that challenge on. Uh, I know business owners, you always have these challenges, uh, but just tackle them head off, head on. I tended to bury my head in the sand about it for some time now, and I knew it was a necessity to, to get it done. Uh, and I bit the bullet the other day, two weeks ago, and said, you know what, with the help of my members mastermind, and uh, with the help of the hosting company, I'm sure I'll be able to get this done. I know it will be relieved once it is done because they will all be under the one banner, under the one roof. And um, if they're not going away anytime soon with the smaller hosting companies, you just don't know what can happen. Uh, and as a result, your uh, you know digital space or your real estate, your websites uh, are in control of somebody else and you just don't want that. Uh, happening you know you just don't want them going down at all for whatever reason it takes a lot of hours a lot of investment hours uh, to build and create websites so it's important to have them hosted with an organization that specializes in them uh, so that's my video share today uh, if you like what you hear I'd love you to hit that subscribe button click that notification bell and you'll receive my weekly updates here on YouTube got another two videos coming up for you next that I'd love you to uh, watch buildyourau.com trishdavisinternational.com 